Um, so we recorded the album at Roundhead, or between Roundhead and Depot Studios, which is um, on in Devonport. And we did like live track most of the album. So we did um, three days at Roundhead and we just did the whole thing live basically. All the guitars, bass, drums, and a few of the other kind of bits and pieces. And then we went to um, Depot um, in Devonport and then we did all the vocals and stuff there. Um, and some overdubs and playing around with cool sounds and lots of BVs and that kind of thing. Very nice, very nice. Let's jump straight back in, eh? Another song then, mate. Should we, uh, should we do it? Should we do arrows? Yeah. Yeah? Fuck yeah. Um, I, I love, I loved working with Chris as a producer. Um, me and Chris have been good friends for a long time and um, we've got quite similar music tastes, I guess, so we've spent hours and hours talking about our favourite bands and favourite records and, um, I guess that helped with going into making this album that we could already kind of talk the same language pretty quickly. And there was this like this piano part on um, Mr. Lonely where there was a grand piano at Roundhead and we were sort of talking about needing something else and he's like, what about some kind of piano thing? And then we started sort of tutoring and then I referenced a silver chair song and we both were like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, that's the direction. So I, I guess just that kind of thing of, um, being able to go into the studio like on the same kind of wavelength to start with was real good. The writing process and pre-production, really, um, just because of COVID, it's been a lot harder to um, to get all this done. And we spent, I think, on the first record, we spent a lot more time um, as as four dudes in a room just playing music and jamming on things and um, maybe catching a bit more of a vibe. Um, and for this one, because because of COVID, and we kind of like wrote this in and out of lockdowns, and we just didn't have the ability to make it like we did the first one. So um, there was a lot more um, of kind of like bringing demos up and ideas and things at home. And then when we had the chance to get into the practice room, we'd, you know, then jam on them and kind of bring the song to life. I remember like trying to book the studio and we, we had the studio booked and then it got pushed out because uh, we went into a lockdown and then we missed out the following week because there was someone else booked in that week and it was just, just trying to make it all logistically work was, was a real nightmare. Um, but we worked really fucking hard and uh, you know, I'm stoked. I think we, we really made it happen. Hey Kyle, so you don't put any, you, do you put any pedals on or anything for the chorus? Yeah, reverb. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Roundhead is just a beautiful studio, um, and it's it's got so many cool instruments and amps and pianos and uh, things to play with, and it's a real easy place to be creative. So all the instrumentation that we did for the record was all live. So having that big room um, and being able to, you know, like dim the lights down and put the like red lights on and that kind of thing, like it just brought this vibe to it. And it was cool that we could all stand in the room together live and just record this whole thing in one go, um, which that room gave us the space to do. You know. Yeah, the, the musical nom is awesome. Um, it feels it feels really great. Um, when we first 
sat down and started writing for this and then we got Chris on board. We spent ages trying to craft the songs and making sure that like we weren't compromising um, how good it was going to be just because of lockdowns and logistics and all the shit that we had to go through. Um, so it feels really great to be um, recognised on, on that level and you know to, to even be nominated. It's like cool. That's we worked fucking hard on it and it's really it just feels really great to to be recognised like that.